Welcome to my three minutes GCSE revision film on Purcell's music for a while. Purcell lived from 1659 to 1695. He was an English composer and is actually buried in Westminster Abbey. Um, music for a while was written um, as some incidental music for the play Oedipus um, and was composed in 1692. Music for a while was originally composed for a countertenor, which is a male voice, but on the Edexcel recording it's soprano voice, so just be careful which version they may use. It's written um, for harpsichord or lute and a bass viol, um, and it's basically built on a ground bass. Now the ground bass is a revolving bass line that just goes round and round. Interestingly, this is a three bar phrase, okay? I shall play this for you now. you'll hear we have a perfect cadence. The perfect cadence there is like a full stop. It helps to reinforce the key. Now the key is A minor, okay, and it's worth remembering that. There's no dynamics in this piece. Dynamics weren't really around in the Baroque period, that's because it's really, really difficult to play. So what are the important bits? Okay, word setting. The word setting is syllabic and melismatic. So when it's syllabic, there's one syllable per note. When it's melismatic, there's several syllables per note. Examples of this is wandering, uh, which we see at bar 10, which is melismatic. Um, examples of syllabic is, for example, in bar 8, all and shall are just one syllable words associated with one note. There's lots of decoration of the notes. There's appoggiaturas, grace notes, and mordants and trills. Um, there's lots of conjunct movement. It's quite scalic. Um, the first entry by the vocalist is on an A. We're in A minor, so they start on the, on the tonic, really defining the key. The second note they sing is an E, which is the dominant. So again, really, really enforcing the key. The structure is A, B, throughout. It finishes with a perfect cadence, a spread chord on the harpsichord. They did this because the harpsichord can't sustain the notes. Um, there's lots of use of cadences throughout. There are modulations in there as well. Um, the instrumentation is something that is really, really important, so please do make sure that you revise and you understand that really, really thoroughly. The tempo is slow. It's a lament. There's falling phrases and we're in a minor key. They are the hallmarks of what a lament. You will need to know that as well. There's lots of word painting as well. That's the alarm.